welcome back to my channel. Today we have an exciting review. So we're going to be talking about the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Oh my goodness. I managed to snag one of these. Um, I purchased it on the Too Faced website. They released it for a second time because I missed the first launch. Um, but I got it the second time around just because I was lucky enough to check my phone as it went live. I was actually on my break and it went live like right on my break. I don't know how I got so lucky. This has released on Too Faced twice and it's released on hsn.com last night. And I'm going to put down the dates below as to when it's going to be on Ulta and Sephora because they have yet to release it. I have never been so like excited for a palette ever. I don't know why this makes me so excited. I think it's the packaging that really makes me like I need this palette and I think that's kind of why everyone is so like hyped up and crazy to I get it. But first of all, can we talk about the packaging? You guys already know it's absolutely beautiful. I love the ombre and I love the little peaches on the um, metal tin. It's so stinking cute. Just one of the cutest things I own. And then you open it up and you have your 18 shades here. And it does smell like peaches, which is so much fun. Um, one of my favorite things about the chocolate bar palettes is that I open them up and I just get the aroma of chocolate and it just like makes me happy. So obviously it's called the Sweet Peach Palette, so it has a few peachy kind of shades in it. There's not a ton of peach shades. Um, but I think they what they were going for is they wanted to like kind of make shades also that would be good with these peach shades. The main colors that I think are like the main colors of the palette are these three here. Um, just Peachy, Candied Peach, and Bellini. And I think they kind of made other colors that they think would look good with, if you wanted to make a look with those colors. Um, so like browns and peaches always look the best together. So I think that's why they did choose a lot of browns in this palette. Um, I definitely think they could have done more peach shades with this palette. Like, I really think they could have done a whole lot more with it. But I am happy with it how it is. Um, the only thing I don't like is the purple shades in this palette. I just think that's kind of random. Like, I don't think it really goes with the whole peach theme. So I, like, wish they would do, like, take these out and do, like, some more peach shades or, like, pinky colors. Like, pink would have been fun to see in this palette as well instead of those purple shades. But I am glad it has mattes in it. I'm glad it has some pretty browns in the palette just because it really helps you make a look with the peach colors. They also have this really random but fun olive green color in there. They could have done something else with that, too. Like, put a couple more, like, green shades in it just to incorporate like um the green leaf on the peaches I guess. I this palette know. does retail for $49 which is the same price as their chocolate bar palette so it's kind of a continuation onto the chocolate bar palettes now they're making like peach stuff so I hope they continue with this trend of like good smelling products so that would be really fun to have like a banana palette or like a grape palette that'd be so much fun I think so they should definitely continue on um, the whole like smelling good eyeshadow theme theme that they're doing um, I would have to say the quality is definitely on par as the chocolate bar palettes are um, the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes are absolutely my favorite palettes that they do. I do have, I've had a couple of their like limited edition holiday sets and I've had a couple of their just regular eyeshadows and the chocolate bar palettes are definitely the best quality eyeshadows that they do and I do prefer them over my naked palettes from Urban Decay, just so you know. But yeah, this is on par, same quality as the chocolate bar. So if you guys love the amazing blendability of those shades, you guys will love this as well. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the swatches of every single color in this palette and then at the end I will tell you guys my final thoughts if it's worth the hype.
have to say I absolutely do love this palette but I have it I personally love peach shades so I am happy to have a palette that has these gorgeous peach shades in it um, but for like the everyday person that just buys makeup because they love makeup like it's not this palette has so much crazy hype to it and I think you should just like wait it out and just wait for it to like come in stores like don't stay up all night or like refreshing and stuff like it's not worth like your time for that but like when it comes into stores I would definitely pick it up um, it's a really great item um, definitely something that I'm going to be using a lot and definitely for spring this is really fun as well I mean, don't get me wrong, I know it has a lot of browns in it, so I know there's probably a lot of similar shades in other palettes, but I don't know. There's just something about it that just, I don't know, I really like. Um, I do like this one better, and I think I'll get more use out of it than the Chocolate Bonbons palette that they released. I know that one was um, a pretty big item when it came out, but I would honestly use this over that. Um, but I would have to say this is one of my favorites if I was comparing it to the chocolate bars. Um, I love the original chocolate bar, but this is probably like my second favorite palette that Too Faced has done. And I think it is gorgeous. And it does have some absolutely stunning shades in it. And of course it has a few shades that don't perform as well. And I do think they could have done a little bit more with it. But I'm pleased with it. I think it's pretty awesome. And... Definitely a nice palette to add to my collection, and I think you guys should try it out if you can get your hands on it. So that is going to be it for my Too Faced Sweet Peach review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, hopefully you guys made a decision if you think you must have it or if you think it's a pass. But yeah, I really am enjoying it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.